talk about a somewhat sensitive subject, but um, as some of you know, I've been complaining a little bit about my health issues. I'm, I'm like dealing with some health issues right now, but at least I've come up with a solution for one of them. Uh, it looks like it's kind of solved. Um, one of the issues I've been having lately um, was constant need to urinate. And it actually was tied into the stress. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on right now stressing people out. I'm not excluded. So there's a lot of personal issues I'm dealing with, um, as well as the whole COVID thing and um, basically having to change my plans from moving to Thailand to now look at possibly staying here a little bit longer. Hey, George, good to see you here. Uh, dealing with trying to find new place to um, park the RV and everything else going on. So I was under a lot of stress. Um, and one of the things I turn to, you know, when, when I'm stressing out, I think a lot of people do is like comfort foods and drinks. And one of my comfort drinks is like uh, Mountain Dew and just soda in general. So I had been trying to cut out soda, but I failed um, because of the stress. It was always easy to just like grab a nice cold uh, soda can, you know, because I have a, a refrigerator now in the RV. So I constantly had cold soda for when the kids come over. Except that the kids weren't the one drinking the soda, it was me. And um, basically, I was drinking anywhere from three to six or seven cans of soda each day. Yeah. Three to six or seven per day. That's a lot of soda. Um, mostly Mountain Dew and Pepsi. And I knew it was bad. Hey, hey Mo Bang, D angry good to see you guys all on here george and um yeah i get i think got everybody right now but um basically i've been drinking so much soda it was actually affecting my health like really in a negative way <laughs> turns out that um what is it is it called a what's it called a soda and caffeine in general makes you want to urinate. I forget what it's called. Um, but it basically, in addition to just providing the liquid, which fills your bladder, uh, you constantly have to pee, but it was terrible. It got to the point where I was having to pee like once every 30 minutes to one hour. It's like peeing 30 to 40 times a day. And that meant waking up at night to pee. That meant sitting in my car driving just to one spot and having to pee, going everywhere and having to pee. I was like, where the heck is this pee coming from? And, um, you know, even after I tried to ease off on the soda, I tried not to drink it. It still took a while, but I had been drinking, like, mostly water. So, like, last week, I've had, like, maybe one or two cans of soda. That's it. I went to, like, zero. I went from, like, three to five per day down to zero. And um, my, my cycle is back to normal. At least normal for me. Normal for me is like having to pee like uh, maybe four times a day, you know? Like right when you wake up, maybe once or twice during the day, and then right before you go to bed. That's normal. But oh, that stuff is addictive. They put, they put something in the soda to make you thirst all the time. And then you want more soda. But the other thing is it's a crutch. It's like um, I was drinking it not because I was thirsty or anything, but sugar is like a high you know it's like a drug that's why so many people are addicted to soda a lot or even caffeine you know it had both two things on it that are addictive caffeine and sugar and it wasn't even good sugar it's uh corn syrup so i don't know if they use real sugar anymore but it doesn't matter went up um i had been having some other weird symptoms like um muscle aches and cramping up like um arthritis almost where your your joints kind of freeze and they lock and they hurt it's like, like you can my hand, try to straighten out the joint so i was like holy schmoly i'm like, very fast it was like I, I i couldn't even move my my arms or legs and whatnot would would crank i don't know what they call it but it would cramp up and like lock itself like this and i couldn't move in weird positions and then you had to take your other hand to move the finger just try to sort it out and stuff 
but I have noticed that in addition to having to pee all the time, so the issue of peeing is a bad reception. But um, basically, yeah, uh, if you're having issues with having to urinate a lot, watch your caffeine intake and your soda intake. Give it up for about, um, it didn't happen, I had to give it up for like almost two weeks before I noticed the difference because my body had built up so much caffeine or whatever. Now, one effect is you're gonna get a really bad, bad migraine. I had like um, the largest migraines, you know? Like I was hurting because of the, the caffeine withdrawal, I think. But two weeks was enough for me to break it. So uh, Timothy's saying one a day. I don't really limit myself to one a day. Um, I, I will still drink soda, but it's not like an urge anymore. It's like once I broke that chain, I don't want to go back. Um, even though I, I'm going to start exercising or something, I'm, I'm trying to um, switch what my addiction is. Instead of turning to soda, I'm going to try to maybe work out or something. Or go back for walks and stuff that I used to do. But yeah, my health went to crap drinking all that soda. So, watch your soda intake. Watch your caffeine intake. If you're having issues with urination, you know, you could have an infection or something serious, but for me, it, I mean, as soon as I stopped the soda, I could see the results. So that was that. So I just wanted to give you guys that pointer. I am going to go ahead and end this broadcast and start up another one to talk about something kind of cool that I just saw posted on the uh, Living in a Van Facebook group. And um, I'll be doing that here in a second, but wanted to thank you all and wanted to pass this on to you. Um, a little tip. And also, we'll be doing the drawing probably the next day or two um, for the space patch for the people who are members of the channel. You know, like if you haven't done so and you want to support this channel, you like the content, you want to see more, um, and you just want to support me, <laughs> hit the join button. Yeah, it's like uh, 99, as low as 99 cents a month, and you'll be included in all our drawings as well as the lottery stuff. I got to, speaking of which, I got to buy lottery for um, this weekend. So look forward to that. We'll be doing the drawing later, probably in the next day or two. Um, I'm actually in the process of moving right now, which is why you've seen me kind of quiet. Uh, you know, because i got to prep, prep the RV and get ready to move out. So, uh, good to see you, Life of Sims, and everybody else that's here, Dee and Heather. Is it Heather? I, I can't read. I'm, I'm driving, so I'm not going to try to crash. <laughs> but with that, sign out. I'll be on in a few minutes, okay? So stay tuned. Just look forward to the next broadcast. It is talking about something kind of neat that I saw posted on the Living in a Van page, and I've been sharing it because I think it might be a solution for some of you. I'm actually contemplating it. It depends on, on what happens over the next year. But we'll talk about that in the next video. So stay tuned. Until next time, everyone, take care. See you shortly. Bye-bye now.